Hey everybody, I'm Owen Benjamin, founder of Bertaria Ozark Campground. We are approaching our third year of this project and are set to renew our lease and purchase the next 40 acres in Missouri. The next 40 acres is an important hurdle uh, for us to get over. I, I, I can't. If we are, I, I can't. I can't, guys. I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to. I'm. I'm gonna actually need some help with this. I need. Uh, I need Adam Camacho in on this. Uh, Cod. Cod. Give me Adam Camacho. Uh, get Adam Camacho on the horn here. I. I can't. I. I, I just. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not gonna be able to do this by myself. Uh, let me just. Let me get this over here. <laughs> Get the bat phone ready here like this. Okay, get you guys ready. And uh, hello, may I speak to Adam Camacho, please? Bueno. Uh, yes, uh, may I speak to uh, Adam Camacho? Si, sí, dime. Soy yo. Soy Adam. <laughs> <laughs> this is Covert Radio, Mr. Camacho. I need your expert expert analysis on this pile of heaping garbage that's on my screen right now i'm going to go ahead and share screens and uh, i want you to take take a look at this i know that you were responsible uh for creating the illusion the delusion of what the bertaria campground is that still to this day does not exist uh, and I also know that you were the mastermind, brilliant talent behind creating the original uh, fundraising video to which God only knows, truly, God only knows the amount of money that your talent and your time and your effort has uh, has garnered Owen Benjamin and, and whoever else is in on the take. This is my opinion. Uh, but I wanted to... Uh, have you come on here if you have a few moments and we're going to compare the two videos uh, i'd like to have your expert take on this because i'm already uh about 19 seconds into this and i'm going to take it back to the beginning but it really looks flat uh there's no depth here it's again depressing there's no color there's no n vibrance here there's no nothing it's very flat very depressing uh, there's like some random chair in the background and just, it's just looks like shit. And, uh, I just wanted to get your opinion and, uh, see if we can maybe go over the two videos for maybe we'll spend 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes on this. You have, you have time for that today, sir? Sure. Yeah. I think people enjoyed it last time and, you know, I don't want to toot my own horn, but the fact that he's lying so blatantly that this year's is this, year, this year's special and everything's better than mine. And, the fact that he's putting out these videos trying to copy my work to get more money, like I got to at least say something and show people the difference because I got a lot of good comments and Texas Go was really happy with it to show the comparison just technically. I don't want to sound arrogant with my work because I know it's not the best, but at least we can see what what they are able to produce without me. Like, um, if you want to, do you want to start with the first? Because I think it's really funny just the first shot of him <laughs> sitting in his little, his, his little dead gazebo. Yeah, that, and I, I noticed that, dude. That's when my, again, something in my brain snapped and I wanted to get Adam Camacho on the horn here. I'm going to actually speed this. Hey, everybody. Right to, buddy. Right to here. And now I'm paused on the dead shot. Uh, yeah. So, like, if you see here, <laughs> like, yeah, like you said, that chair, they couldn't have moved that chair out of the way. They got this table on the on the left hand side that's got like red blood stains or something. Yeah, it was an art art store or something. <laughs> Somebody was coloring on it or they were making welcome to Bertaria signs. God only knows. I mean it And you got you got the you got the uh, Home Depot lights drooping in the back right by his head. <laughs> I mean, it's the most sad <laughs> grab even... cell phone video you've ever seen. Yeah. You know, and like my my cell phone video from last year that I got him to shoot, or from two years ago, the first video, looks way better than this. This is Sam's uh, Samsung, whatever it is, Galaxy, whatever phone he has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just the fact that it's like everything's dead behind him, like this is Bertaria. Like it, it it's does dead. exist. It's dead. This is it. This Not really mine. is my, it. My version doesn't exist. Oh this yeah, this is, this is the this is the lifeblood of the vampiric 
sucking <laughs> of mentally ill people's money. And this is the proof of it. The clouds are dark. I mean, there's no real color correction in this from what I can see. Um, I guess the color choice of what he's wearing, I, and maybe nobody really overthinks that, but I don't know. He just it literally screams dead cult to me. He looks like a cult leader sitting there. And, and how about the fact that two of his shirt pockets, he finally wore pockets. Like when I was, <laughs> when I, <laughs> when I was, uh, you know, shooting at his house and stuff, he was telling me, he goes, He's like, yeah, man, my tits, you know, like I can't, uh, you know, when I, when I run, I feel them bouncing. And I go, I said, so stop running. <laughs> and he's like, he started laughing. He goes, and then, uh, I told him, I said, dude, I got tits. Like what you do is you got to wear a shirt with pockets, you know? <laughs> and now, and cause he's always wearing like these kids baseball shirts and he like, you see his tits, you see his little shoulders. This one, like his little, his shirt, it looks like it gave him a little bit of shoulders, you know? Yeah, it does. Just that, uh. You know, and but the thing is, he wore the pockets, but now one's in and one's out. <laughs> Again, like what? <laughs> no continuity, dude. And I mean, I'm saying I'm looking for the next shot where the pockets out and hey, get a chick my nuts. Now, what was I supposed to say? And I mean, the stuff from back in my pocket. Uh, and he's got something on his on his collar too. Oh my god, he does. Like see, he what I, I didn't see any of this, dude. That's what I mean. This is why we have experts like Adam Camacho. On. Well, these are the details that I would see. I'd be like, oh, hold on. Stop. Yes. Wait a minute. And, dude, you know? I have an eye, obviously, for detail. I didn't even notice that. So I didn't notice the pocket. And I, <laughs> that's why I started <laughs> laughing because as soon as you said pockets, I looked, and I'm like, oh, my God. And now I didn't even see that, dude. I didn't see the lighting drooping. That, again, just makes zero sense. There's no uh, balance there at all. I'm a big fan of balance. The dead leaves and are the random, like. The, the the weird framing because now when i when i had him shoot the video with his cell phone for the first one like you know he's using the cell phone microphone but now now they've got this little lavalier set up that i think red panda got him but the thing about owen is that he's always he always blows out you can't put a lavalier mic on him because he blows it out yeah like you have to have a shotgun mic on your camera or you have to have a boom mic or yeah. you have to have him running through. Well, see, if I, here's the thing, Adam, this is what we got to watch. I mean, I know this is information packed for the viewers of Covert Radio, but at the but same he's, time. He's going he's gonna to watch this. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to give him something right here, right now to fix that because my mm -hmm. background <laughs> is audio. So I, I could absolutely say, well, all we'd have to do, but I'm not going to do that, dude, because I just, somebody sent me a clip of him the other day talking about eh, and they're gonna get a whole new studio and we're getting all new audio equipment eh, because i I'm, I'm telling you in my heart there's no way that he is oblivious to the you know the yeah we, we nailed on the last one it's true and he no it's not about being oblivious like because of this lawsuit he has to watch everything i do so like he definitely saw that, and now he's uh, and like you said, he's pivoting, he's adjusting. But it doesn't matter though. Like let's just let's just tear it apart. Exactly, <laughs> he's not going to do it. He's not going to spend the money. Oh, well, some he's, one of the bear tards will buy it. Air, Anchor Bear will will. Be, eh, I got I got one of this, but I, I let you <laughs> use it, Daddy. Like a, a blown out mic because I've done live set audio, dude. On on like on scene, you know what I mean. And I've my own rig was set up at twenty four bit. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm managing eight, seven, eight mics that is, you know, that are hidden or, you know, we'd have uh, effect microphones and things like that hidden in a bush somewhere to pick up ambient sound. So, but yeah, when you're, when you have somebody with a lav, um, lavalier mic like that and, and who have a, a, a tendency to be verbose and, you know, these yeah. loud plosives like that, there's a piece yeah. of equipment that easily fixes that, you know what I mean? I'm, and I'm saying easily fixes it. Or at least can be honed into where his range that, is. You know what? That could be why his his performances are so bad now because he's trying to adjust and not blow out the mic. He doesn't know how to do it. Yeah, that could be why he's droning on so like just so pathetically and like uh, you know depressingly. Yeah, you know I mean because his performances on these videos have been so just like low energy. It is. It's per if he believe me if he knew how to use my boom mic that he still has there of mine he would be using it 
You know, <laughs> he's, right. he's still holding my microphone. You know what I mean? Oh, that could fix that could fix this whole problem. Cutting uh, get over here right now. Learn how to work this boom man. Give me somebody. Somebody work it boom man. Here's pictures I took. I'll sketch. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I'll sketch this picture where Adam used it and how he used it, and then you do you do whatever I sketch out here. That's how he did it. It's never going to happen, Owen. You cannot recreate what what Adam... I'm not saying you can't do something because obviously you're doing it. But in the... in the You, you got to pay for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point, dude. You have to pay for it. And he is at a point where he literally doesn't care. The quality <laughs> doesn't matter anymore. The, the main grift is over. He is now just emptying the pockets of mentally ill people. And that is something I touched on in the last covert radio video. And the one coming out today, I'm telling you guys, you better wear a seatbelt when you watch it. Uh, because there's ground shaking information in this new video coming up. It, the grift, the grift is over. I mean, so there's no way that he will ever be able to recapture the lightning in the bottle. The great people like you that he had, Adam, the talent that he had around, because I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, like Cam Camera Bear too. Camera Bear was, is who made that magazine so good. And that was really, because, he, you know, I someone brought that up in a chat the other day. Cam that magazine was a really good piece of propaganda too. Oh, you absolutely. Know, and it, it, it was going out the same time my stuff was going out. And Camera Bear was the one who had, he went to, he has a degree in that, like, you know, and he knows journalism, he knows graphic design. And he was the one that made that magazine look so slick. You know, it would have looked like shit if it wasn't for him. And he's gone too. Yeah. They cut him. Yeah, they don't have the the people there anymore, dude. And there's something, have I, has I been going through the covert radio archive, the vault of everything I've had. And I've explained to some, to some other people, you know, Owen has done seven to 10,000 hours worth of content in the last several years. And I've, I got, I wouldn't say lazy, but I guess it is because I'm an archive junkie, but at the same time, his, the, his rhetoric moves so fast that unless you're sitting here every day, every stream, snip, snip, cut, cut, snip, take it, take it, and then you can be like, compare this to this to this. I, I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that have that time to do that, but I've tried to do it as much as physically possible. And what's happened is I've wound up with, a, you know, a couple terabytes of clips that are just dated. They're not named. So I've been spending a lot of time recently going through, watching, renaming, like jaw dropping. Can't believe the stuff I've captured, the stuff that doesn't exist anywhere on the internet anymore. I still have copies of it. And, um, you know, there's something to be said about the caliber of people like Adam, uh, like you, Adam, like Woodshop, you know, these great people who were literally experts, trained, experienced experts in their field, who did believe in what this, because I, I was just watching clips earlier today that I have going through and archiving and, re, you know, renaming, organizing, and, and they're all of Owen talking about Guys, we don't need the money. We don't need the money. I don't need your money. I have six properties. Guys, I have six rental properties. I mean, if you want to send me something, you can. But, I mean, I'm not asking for money. I don't need your money. You know, those those quality people that, that watched him then, that was part of the, you know, the, what they believed he was building, a, a, a very positive environment that people could go to like summer camp. Anybody who's ever been to summer camp remembers those memories through, through the rest of their life. And guess what? They send their kids there too, because they want their kids to have the values, to have the experience, to make the friends. That's what all these good people genuinely thought they were being getting involved with. That's why he was able to rob them of the $400. That's why he was able to secure people like Adam Camacho and Woodshop. No, uh, it, it's all uh, no, it's uh, Camera Bear or Camera Camera Bear Camera Bear Woodshop that, too. Woodshop did a lot too. <laughs> that's but these types of people are all gone. 
they're mm -hmm. they're all gone and and there's nobody to blame other than owen and again from a two hundred thousand dollar corporate owned piece of property the sister parcel of where the campground was supposed to be 200,000 is now worth over 1.5 million dollars and we're going to go over that in the next video so but there's still no campground he doesn't care ladies and he's whittled this cult down to a bunch of mentally ill people and again I wanted to bring Adam on to show the comparison of what dead heartless zero light looks like compared to people who believed in what they were doing yeah this is what greed gets you this is what greed gets you right here i'm gonna hit play dude yeah. i'm yeah, owen benjamin founder of bertaria ozark campground we are approaching our third year of this project and are set to renew our lease and purchase the next 40 acres in missouri the next 40 acres is an important hurdle for us to get over if we are able to secure this next 40 we will own over 50% of the entire property. You know, and, and it's like, who's we? That's the that's the forever question. There is no accounting here. There's no public uh, openness. There's there, And I'm going to show you how much they hide uh, trying to figure out what is owned by these corporations. I mean, Owen can't hide his house. It's a it's a corporate asset and it's public information. Um. And, and yeah, so, it's an LLC, right? Exactly. We is an LLC. It's yeah, it's all all of it is under LLCs, other than Owen Benjamin Incorporated. But that was that was a Zionist creation, and that's what he dropped. That is the 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 gift he was handed for the exchange of belittling himself and doing all the gay stuff, and you know wearing the brain injury helmet and playing the dumb oafy white guy. You know, Owen Benjamin Inc. was his little gift from the Zionist, and all he had to do was take care of it and play along, but he couldn't do it. He's a broken toy. And and I'm saying I'm saying that because that's really who he is. He's only been playing a character for the last several years. The real person is Owen Benjamin Inc. That's who he wants to be. That's who he wants people to believe he is. That's who he constantly calls back to to remind everybody. The callback reminder, I'm, I was in Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. He's always going back to Owen Benjamin Inc., INC, which is the, um, <clears throat> it is a full-blown corporation. All, everything else he's involved with, other than corporate bloom, are all limited liability corporations, but they're still corporations. Right. So but it's just a little shaved down version of what right. uh, is is required, I should say, to mm -hmm. be a corporation. But yeah, you know, the difference between a, an actual like S corp versus an LLC. Yes, yes, and a sole proprietorship. You know what I mean? Like right. he's smart enough to know not to file sole proprietorships, but at the same time, he's the only one that benefits. And that's why, in my opinion, and that's why this constant we, 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 who is we? There is no public disclosure of who we is. The only thing legally that says we is Owen Benjamin and Sam Mitchell. Mm-hmm. Legally, the only we is Owen Benjamin and Sam Mitchell. That's it. So if you want to believe you're part of the we, believe it all you want. You're not. You won't I be. I was we. I thought I was we. Yeah. Oh, so did thousands of people, Adam. So did thousands of people. You know what I mean? Like, but you're not. And you saw what not being we is. A, a tens of thousands of dollars lawfare battle. That's what we isn't, Adam, even though you're the one, and, and I don't want to get into this, but I mean, this is my opinion. You're the one that created the vision, the reality of what people invested into. Right. It's, it's your work, your vision, your direction, your production. Your it was my vision, my vision interpreted it of his vision and, yeah, once we get into that one after this one, like I just rewatched it after a few years and or a couple of years, and like I couldn't, I couldn't even recreate it right now if I wanted to. Because your heart, I, your I, heart I, has changed. Your eyes are open, dude. You've seen yeah. it. Your heart has changed. Your eyes are open. Yeah, yeah. You, I could that original video, and I've said this to you before. Like 
and I've said this publicly, like a lot of the shit I've seen you do originally would piss me off because how good it was. And I knew in my mind, I'm like, he doesn't deserve this. Speaking of Owen, I'm like, damn it. Why does he have yeah. to get such good people? <laughs> like it would make yeah. me mad, dude. Like that he, cause in my mind, he never deserved any of it. No, that's why I still get pushed back to this day from some gammas and some Reddit people. It's just because that's, they, they were all over me since day one, you know, and you know, they would dox where I would work and all these things. And they just, they hated me, the wheel and stuff. So I understand it though. Like yeah. it's true, but I, I really did believe that stuff. And you're going to see right now in the next video that I really did believe what I was putting out was, <laughs> I didn't well, know I was working for this, this guy. You know? Well, dude, not I, again, I know like, and, and I'm not going to get all into this, but I am, I do, I'm highly involved in media as well. And I know for a long time, like for even to this day, it's hard for me to give away, even though I've been paid for them, I, it's, I can't disassociate with some of my projects because of the amount of love and time mm -hmm. that I've put into it. And I might yeah. bill somebody for say, you know, 10 hours, but the reality is there's 20 hours of love into this project. And, yeah. you know, it's a passion pro and I, I become it. They're my children, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I, I only people in media can understand that. No, it's a weird feeling. It it's really feeling is. I'm still proud of my work, but it's for a demonic entity and it's cult, you know, so like, for him to extract wealth from good people. So it's, it's a weird feeling because I still think I did a good job, but it's just unfortunate who I did it for. Dude, it's so literally, like, go ahead. Yeah. Well, I was no, going to say, say like, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I was going to say, it's like watching your children fall into the wrong crowd of people. You're, wow. Yeah. I, I haven't, I haven't, I, my kids are still small, so I don't know. Yeah. It, that's really what it's like. You, they'll bring somebody around and you know, it's not good for your kid. And it's like, but you know, you got to let it go. You got to let them find that out. And it's the same with media and these projects. And, uh, you know, you put your love and heart and your belief into it. And you, like you said, this next video, your original one for the fun first fundraiser, uh, or the last, I don't know which one, but it's, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to watch and you can, it, it exudes love, dude. I mean, you can just yeah. feel it. Like, and I, and I like this right, this right here, this drone shot. I'm sorry to interrupt. But that's you, but, so, I was going to mention the drone shot. Go ahead. Yeah. This drone shot that we're on right now, you, we're on the one with the tent and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's just so bad. Like the, the, the operating of the drone is horrible. The color the the picture quality the resolution like i think who was flying the drone i think it was coddington with his i think he has a dji mavic one maybe mm -hmm. or maybe a two i think he has a one and now they're now we're on like number three that's what i have but like it's just it looks like shit it's it really so does bad. i don't even and know if this dji quality unless they compress the shit out of that footage dude because they probably did they probably sent it through fucking messenger or something mm -hmm. and just crunched it down or or they degraded the the they degraded the, the drone shot to match the shitty cell phone oh, like you never know you know wow, what i mean like that's... sometimes you would do something like that where but like yeah we, we can keep going though no, that's a great, because I was going to bring up the drone shot, dude, because there's nothing in focus here. There's, I noticed, I and again, I'm just pointing this out, the wobbling, there's, so there's really not a lot of stabilization or somebody's fat finger in the controls. Or, well, yeah, there's bad, there's bad operating, like they're, they're back panning wrong. It's, yeah, we, it's, we could see it once we, once yeah. we play it though. Holding 93 acres. This 40 acres will also help us prevent any future landlocked neighbors needing to drive through the property. So that's a lie right there. And I'm going to cover that in, in the next video. Keep that in mind, yeah. what, what he just said. I was thinking about that too. I've been there several times. That's a lie. I drove around the whole property. Like there's one guy over here in this shot to the right that has a property. And I think there's one on the other side too. On yeah. The, on, on that there's same actually, side I'm going to that dirt road. Yeah. But I'm like a... the property starts at that dirt road and it goes to our left. Yeah, you I'm know, gonna. I'm gonna show, I don't think that's true at all. No, it's it's not, bro. And I'm gonna show everybody. Uh, there's actually three different property owners. So, and there's nobody that's landlocked. There's and even 
I, and uh, just trust me, I'm going to show you satellite images and tax nice. records and everything in the okay, next cool. video. <laughs> yeah, cool. that's a lie. I forgot he said that in this video. The Northwest 40 acres is undeveloped land with wild fruit trees and potential for us to build lodging away from the festival campgrounds. Thousands of people have now visited the Bertaria Ozark campground, danced. Dude, does he sound a little bit drunk or something? Like, cause I don't, maybe it's just me. I don't yeah. know. It was like thousands he's, of people. Like, it's just like, are you slurring? Yeah. Like, I think he is like, he's like, uh, yeah, he slurs some words in this. Yeah, I noticed that. And I was like, it's not quality. There's slurring going on here. It's just my opinion. Laughed, built awesome things, and we are looking forward to all the great times ahead. So How far, we have had shot. three amazing... Say that again. How creepy is that shot? With Dude, the this kids? is... The, I, I just the feel... shirtless kids on the big mm. beach ball? It's like, ugh. You know, I might as well just say it here. Um... <laughs> and it's like a shot from like some pervert like it's sit like secretly yes. shooting him <laughs> dude i have a video uh a whole project it's not this next one hold on one second it's not this next one um it's called there's a problem in bertaria and i'm not going to give the name I, I created a new name for what bertaria is but yeah this is extremely creepy and i you know i will go to war with any of you any of you any of you that want to come at me or anybody who has this perception and talk about, is this just you? You're projecting. Is this pure, innocent? Oh, really? Is it? I'm going to make you eat every single one of your words. I'm going to make you eat every single. There's something wrong with you people, and you're not going to hurt kids. You're not. Mm -hmm. Amazing festivals. And each year, the experience is getting better and better. Your donation doesn't That's just help true. buy the land. It helps us improve the experience. Say, look at this. Look at this. It's operating. Yeah, it's just like. Watch out. <laughs> Dude, I don't. Uh, I don't know, man. I just. It's so Jonestown to me. It's so, so Jonestown to it me. It is. It's totally Jonestown. I mean, even from the the soccer, the kids playing, that is that is right out of Jonestown. They have these shots. Not air air shots, but they have elevated shots because they had watchtowers there. Bertaria Ozarks for Oops. years to come. Knowing that we have people in our corner committed to this project. This year we have started construction on a dome, built a child's playground, <laughs> produced a comedy special, and have thirty Look, I would see now. Hmm. Look at this shot, Adam. Which one? Uh, we're, we're right on hit the back shot of him at the keyboard. And there's a, uh, we're, we're, I'll give you a timestamp here. So, oh, yeah, with the road case in the yeah, front? 118, uh, one minute, 18 seconds. Yeah, there. well, there's an amp or something beside him. But there's the rose-colored, flesh-colored funeral lighting. There's all the uh, ambient lighting around, the little dots around but what I want people to look at is the crowd from the actual angle out into uh, the, I mean, the the amount of people with this, it feels like a private party. It feels like yeah. a family cookout. This gives you the scope of the other side of the stage that they tried to hide in all of those first shots. Remember those first ones that were yeah. coming out from the right side of the stage? I'm saying from this side we're looking at. They, they yeah. tried to hide the whole left side, but now you can see there's nobody over there. <laughs> there's yeah, nobody and it's like, over there. And the there. lighting is so bright. It's almost like North Korea. It's like, we're going to, are you, were you laughing or were you not? Right. You know, it's so weird. <laughs> Dude, I, actually, now that you say that, I want everybody to remember this. Go to YouTube and look for Billy Joel flips out. It, it's like a concert in the Soviet Union. He's playing. This is like the 80s or 90s, and he's all da da da, and he's like, he, you know, he's singing. But then it, when the but there's a pause in the lyrics, he goes, "Stop lighting the crowd, da da da." You know, he's playing piano. Stop lighting the and he starts snapping, dude, because they would not turn yeah. the the audience lighting off. It was lit just like this, and it caused yeah. Billy Joel to flip his whole piano on stage. Yeah. <laughs> My buddy was uh, directing a video for Eddie Murphy. He was doing like a, you know, one of his 
so he was trying to be an artist, you know, a musical artist. And uh, my buddy like was cutting in shots of like these sexy women dancing in between it. And Eddie called him on the phone pissed. And he was like, he goes, what's with all these bitches you put in here? He's like, I don't know. I just, for the video, he's like, no. He's like, just focus on me. Mm. He's like, Do, he, go, he goes, you ever seen the movie? Or you ever seen the video for Imagine with John Lennon? And my buddy's like, yeah, with just him at the piano. He's like, yeah, that's it. Just me and the music. That's mm. it. Like they get, they will get pissed if you put anybody else on screen. These big, big guys, you know? Yeah. Well, not only that, dude, it is, I think it would be for say, you know, somebody like Billy Joel, do you really want to see the crowd like that? You know, it's like, no, because I have a, I have a bad habit, dude. Like when I, when I see live performers, like I remember the last time I did this was Cirque de Soleil and we, I try to always get good seats. I mean, cause it's not often, often we go, but, or maybe it was wicked. I, I forget. I went to see something recently and like, I have a bad habit of just trying to throw people off that are on the stage and it could be the funniest part. Everybody's laughing, but I'll straight deadpan and just open my eyes real big and tilt my head, just hoping they catch a glimpse. And oh, just, that's messed up. <laughs> I don't know why, dude. I just do it sometimes. <laughs> like I shouldn't drink when I go and <laughs> because yeah. you know it. Like these, you know these uh, these places, theaters and and stuff. They always at intermission they have wine and you know bars set up and everything. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I get a couple drinks in me, you know, a couple wines. I drink red wine, but it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. Something I just want to, I don't know why I do it. I don't, but like, I don't want to, if I was on that stage, I would not want to see the bear tards. It's just me. I don't know. But see, yeah, how I, weird, how weird was the shot from Owen? Like, imagine his POV. I, I, I couldn't imagine, dude. I really couldn't. I don't know how. I just don't know how. I don't know. Because well, and then, that's probably why he snapped at him in the beginning, called him all retard. Yeah. Well, or, or idiots. He's like, don't just laugh for anything, a bunch, like a bunch of idiots. I think it's because he was like, dude, why am I staring at all these people so well lit? Yeah. I, I know I asked for it, but somebody should have told me no, like Adam. <laughs> 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 no yeah there's uh there's no benefit for owen owen on the on this angle i would not want to see that and because it's it's distracting too and if i was there i would make sure i do everything i could to distract him just for my own enjoyment and fun but it, I'm, I'm not normal either so i mean i'm just saying like yeah. that's me you know what i mean so there's got to be somebody in there or you know you start you start focusing on the person that doesn't laugh because I've heard comedians like, like Joker Bear like Joker Bear like standing <laughs> up and laughing at a weird time yes <laughs> Soviet or I mean it's the uh, it's North Korea like you said dude it's dear leader you know what I mean that nobody wants executed at the gallows after the comedy show for not nobody you mean, wants no, no, no. you mean the you mean the child's place oh I'm, right? that's right yeah not the gallows it's yeah <laughs> the i think he says it's a castle now it's a castle but yeah i would not i would not want to see these people dude at all i Let's think finish this baby up i want to say one this one last thing about that dude i think there is a comedian that has said uh about being distracted it, there's some and i'll try to find that youtube video and put it in the description but there, there is something about comedians and being distracted. When they find somebody that doesn't laugh, they start focusing on that person, and it's a right. for, it's a form of heckling, is what it is. So that's why a lot of comedy clubs, you like, even on Kill Tony, dude, it's black. Like you, even when he's talking to the audience, you can't really, and the camera will go out, you can barely see shadows. Like yeah. they, they don't want to see these people, dude, and and the heckling's a big part of it, but. You yeah, know, the fact that he wanted to see everyone's faces is it's really creepy, weird. Dude. What he wanted is ev all of us to see it. Looky, looky, looky. I'm going to play... Uh, huh, I'm not going to play it here. It'll be in the next video. But I, I'm, I have, a, I have a, a shot lined up that is so, so... That is so North Korean, dude. And it's so creepy. And the lighting and just the way it is. They all... Hi, Charlie! Hi, Walter! Ha, did you see that clip anywhere? Yeah. Oh my God. You it, was, wanna, it was weird. I mean, weird, dude. And that's what he wants people to see. But he doesn't understand, I don't think, as an artist, 
or even as a professional, how seriously creepy it is. It was like showing his kids how much control he had over these retards. Yes, I think it was that or yes, 100 percent. Or he wants to show the world how much control he has. But yeah. I don't know why that's something to be proud of, Owen. These people are certified, certifiably mentally ill, in my opinion. They could all be diagnosed with C, um, celebrity worship syndrome. And I'm going to talk about that again. I talked about it in the last video, and I'm going to talk about it again in the next one. I'm going to hit play. Three cows roaming the property, serving the highest quality beef at the festival. Now we need your help to get over this big hurdle. So Brother, wait, it's a hundred serving beef. Uh, yes, dude. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, thirty I, cows like serving beef. It's so weird. <laughs> I mean, hey, <laughs> it, it, you figure like there, it doesn't matter. It's about money, dude. I and I, I made a joke recently. I said, so are you going to get your convoy hat after these next forty acres, Owen? I mean, is that when you're officially a, a cattle rancher? So, yeah, I don't uh, look. You can see well, dude, the. the the, the rolled up sleeves and you got a Navy shirt on top of a Dodger blue shirt. Like that's ill. Dude, did the chair move or is this, did he twist or something? Cause it looks like that chair came. I think he turned. He's, he's got his left leg like, oh, spread okay. out. <laughs> Cut to make sure they see my package. <laughs> they got him on a weird fucking uh, stool or something. This is so weird. It's just weird. Dude. <laughs> it's, it's just weird. And I mean, at least put him center frame or balance it out or something. None of this makes sense. And it's so dark and dreary. Legends capable of donating $1,000 or thousands of legends with more humble donations. Yeah, there's the shot I was talking about. You can see this side. This is all the media they released. But that last oh, shot yeah. is, is them. Uh, you could see how dead it was on the other side of the stage. We can get this yeah. done. Donors have a choice of rewards and can get grandfathered in to the most affordable pricing for the festival. You know, I want you guys to keep this in mind, too. You see all those tents there? Those are all vendors. They're not there for free. Do you understand that? All these vendors are paying money to be there for vendor spots. Yeah. No, They're not allowed onto this property for free. It's not part of the general admission. You got to pay your admission and a vendor fee. So the amount of money he's raking in for this is uh, there's no accountability or there's no accounting uh, that he's showing. Nobody. But look at the amount of people. There's nobody there. But there's tons of vendors. That's my point, dude. Yeah, yeah, but there's nobody at the vendors or there's nobody there. Like last year, there was like there was like probably like 600 people. And this is they, you know, this year's probably like three or two. I'd Look say at two. this: one, two, three, four. We can, with with your finger, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, there's like a dozen people in the shot. Yeah, it's sad, bro. And you know, these vendors got to pay money. It doesn't matter if they make their money back or not. I've done right. this for years, and I'm not going to get into it. But I I've done festivals as a vendor, and there was one that I used to do for about two years in a row till I realized. Oh, they don't promote, they don't promote this. They don't, a lot of these vendor promoters don't care. They'll, they'll line you up. They'll take your money and da, da, da. And it's this weekend festival somewhere. But the reality is they're not going to spend your, that money to promote. That money goes in their pocket. So Owen doesn't care who all shows up. If you want to be a vendor, you're going to pay him. You're going to pay to get on the property. He doesn't care. There's no pay you back if you didn't make your four or five hundred dollars you paid to set up a 10 by 10 tent there yeah and these ones here the vendors in the front those are like you know woodworking tincture shit like that but in the back those ones in the back are all food and coffee and stuff yeah and, and there's nobody back there either this is this is pathetic i it, never even sad. noticed this oh dude it's it's i i those are my eyes when i see the amount of money that he's charging vendors to be here those vendors are not there for free. And if they were, why is there, there a whole separate vendor process on the Bertaria Times uh, website? The Bertarian Campground Festival website, there's a whole separate section. Are you interested in being a vendor? Da, 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 da. Yeah, because I'd love, I mean, if there's any vendors out there who have gotten ripped off or just donated a, another uh, $500 to Owen, I want to know what they charge you for the three days or two days that you're set up there with a 10 by 10 spot. 
And which you, I think, I think, we, I think we could find that out. I, I never asked. I never asked that. Yeah. I, well, I can't say anything, but I'm just going to hit play, dude. Workshops and other events to come. This year, donors save 50% on festival tickets, and the ticket prices are expected to rise, as we are happy with Why? The I'm sorry. Go ahead. ...size of the festival and would rather prioritize and cater to our community and supporters. We don't want big numbers. Like, why are these... like? It, it, this this shot is so bouncy and out of focus. It was almost like I was waiting for him to start running with the bikes. But do you see the racism that is even laced into this right here for children? Why are they pushing bikes? It's the whole yeah. and N word stole my bike thing. The bike is the central theme around some of this festival. Right. So hey kids, push your you know and and the parents stand around. They all know what this means. They're all laughing. Yeah. They're all laughing. We want right, Foster Bear. This was funny too, right? Mm -hmm. Legends that want to build the future with us. We also revised some of our previous plans of RV pads and have come up. Uh, for the record, I've never seen anybody weld like that in my life. I've welded a trailer one time. I'm not a welder, but I can weld. I can I can MIG and TIG weld. And what he was doing right there is called splatter. So, yeah, I mean, we got a bunch of, like, just, it's unreal. You can kill somebody with a welder. Okay. With a low-budget solution to get electric and water to the RV camping area. A low-budget solution to get water and, and electric or what to the camping area. We're on our third year going into the, what, third or fourth. And you want more land, though. You don't want to spend money to develop this land and make it safe and make it, you know, something that's viable. You just want that these low IQ people to keep buying you more land. Okay. This year, we also met a contractor that helped us build the playground that specializes in building swimming pools. We are not short of ideas, talent, or labor. Right now, we are short on funds. And as our November 15th deadline approaches, we need to rally to accomplish this. You all know I'm putting my name. $8 smoothies. I've seen that. <laughs> and my money on the line for this. Project. You all know I'm putting my name and my money on this project while he's shaking his head and blinking. Um, his it, name. Yeah, his what name. name. I don't know. The name. He doesn't have a name. Yeah, I, whatever. And then, but his money. So what money, sir? What? Yeah, no money. Are you putting your $1.5 million state up as collateral? Why are you begging low IQ people for money, more money to buy you more land? You and Sam, essentially. So I don't understand. Why? What do you mean? Yeah, how, about, how about you show some proof? For yeah, what, how he never shows proof of anything. Nothing. Of any, any lies, any slander, anything, anything. Or or any expenses, nothing. Yeah, it's all. But you're still giving him money. It's all dog whistle accusations, dude. It's all dog whistle accusations. And any normal person that would uh, ask for money for a project such as this, or continue to ask the same people uh, for money, <clears throat> I would have to ask. Like, well, you say you're putting your name and your money on this, so how much no no i put my name on this his name is tarnished his name is on the adl watch list his name is shit mm -hmm. i put my name on this that's why when he started getting radicalized and getting having all these crazy ideas and, and it looks like he's scamming people things aren't coming through i said i say something because you, i'm i'm involved with you just like when i went with yay to Infowars, and he says he loves hitler it's like dude i'm working for you like everybody around you right now is now liable for the shit you're saying. Right. Right, dude. That is there there is a proximity factor with that 100%, especially something that volatile, dude. There's definitely a proximity factor that he doesn't care about. <clears throat> but again, like you said, there's no accountability. There there's no accounting. I keep <laughs> there's no accounting. <laughs> You know, yeah. I'm putting my name, my money. What? So, okay, so how much is do we need to raise? How much yet? 
And he, he needs like a hundred grand, I think, that, and it's dude, by the fifteenth. Dude, that's what he said in the beginning. He's like, rather it's like what was it? Uh, four? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we could watch the beginning, of it, but it was like four hundred people donating a thousand. Like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> How much money have you put in, sir? Me and what is the asking price? Can we negotiate? Are you on his shot right now? The, the, the yeah, he, he's just standing there with his shoulders twisted a little bit. I'm ready. Yeah, uh, so yeah, but look at also too the the angle. He's on a $1.5 million estate. You see, he doesn't put his house behind him. Oh, sure. Right. <laughs> that's right, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good this point. Is, this, is, this, this is the poorest area. It, this is like the most working class area of his of his land. <laughs> you know, dude, what, what, he, what this... Owen is... And I was going to mention this in the last video. I, it didn't make it, but I might mention it. I'll mention it here. I, it might not even make it into the next one, but... There's a thing with his rhetoric, uh, his his weaponized rhetoric called obscuring, obscurantism. And with that, it's a form of obscuring, like deliberately being obscured, deliberately being vague and obtruse. And like you said here with this yeah. shot, <clears throat> Show, yeah. where's the new in, house? In, in Spanish, ob obscuro is dark. Dark obscuring, obscuringism. Dark obscurantism. Where is the house? Where's the where's the house the 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 bears have built? Where's the new for walk down your forty fifty thousand dollar driveway? Go over to the ten fifteen thousand dollar entry gate. Go go give us a tour of the bear the real Bertaria campground. Why let's see the side by let's see the boat let's see the side by side. Yes yes <laughs> he he just keeps moving the goalpost, dude. Uh, he knows all the bears suffer from cognitive bias. Nobody, you know, I put my name, you know, I put my money. That's all they need. That's argument from authority. That's another form of his warfare argument from authority. It's a lo again, logical fallacy. Some of his favorite shit. And all he's doing is just stating the case and you accept it because they all recognize him as their authority figure. So yep. there's no, there's no need for, nobody's going to challenge like I'm challenging him, like I'm, like you are challenging him. Nobody's, like we are, yeah. yeah, nobody's going to do that, dude. The guy, dude, I've, I've been on that little gazebo. I've, I've, I have video of me sitting there with my coffee in the morning. I've been there. Jim Bob was there too. I remember that, that Gladys or something in the background of one of their shots. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah. For the wheeling thing. Yeah. Yeah, that Whelan, when they defame Whelan, yeah. I couldn't uh, even imagine what's to the right, what's to the left, where Mama Jean's condominium is, where the, the original, now the new barn dominium is. Like, show some of that, Owen. Show people where their money has gone. But yet, you sit here and beg for more? And, and this gazebo looked a lot nicer. It was there yeah, it, when you bought it. Dude, now it looks like shit. It, there's no, there's, again, no maintenance there's no weatherization here. There's no protecting the wood. Look how rotted down here that beam is. It's all getting mold on it and shit. Like, no, nobody is falling for it, Owen. You're no down one's to, at the wheel. Yeah, well, that's 100% true, Adam. That's 100% true. You would have never allowed this. I know that, dude. And I know that from the next video we're about to watch. This is, I'm only going to, this is only going to run another minute or so. It's almost over. And then we're going to jump into <laughs> what created the empire. On the line for this project. And it's not because it makes money, but because my audience has supported me and I want to do everything I can to provide value for my community in their real lives. Thank you to everyone that has supported us this far. If you, if you wanted to create value for people in their real lives, Owen, you would have never have stifled somebody trying to share information with no interest, low interest loans, the USDA loans. And I am always going to go back to that because that was a, a, that was a, a shatter point for me when I realized like you won't even allow people to help themselves. As long as they're but giving you money every day, buying you more land, you and Sam, legally, I'm talking. I don't care who we are. I'm talking legally who we are. 
uh, when you flipped out and banned that person and made an example of them publicly for trying to share knowledge with people how they could start their own homestead, uh, you're full of shit. You're a lying Luciferian. No, and that guy, Moon Jazz Bear, totally cucked to him. He, like, made it a joke. He's like, oh, now I'm going to be called USDA Bear. And then he met Owen. That was at last year's festival, not this year's. And then he met Owen, and then... I have it on film. He's like, oh, Moon Jazz Bear. Ha, 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 ha. He totally cucked him. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot different when you see him toe-to-toe, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's just, a, he's just another, fa- like, a, like a chubby, short dude. Yeah. They all, dude, they don't get They just want to be, they all want to get their arm around Owen and That's take a it. picture. It, it's That's celebrity it. worship syndrome. It's diagnosable mental illness. Mm-hmm. And if you are able to recontribute, we can continue to improve and build the world we want in our future. And if you haven't contributed yet, consider this a great opportunity to contribute to this groundbreaking endeavor because no one is having more fun than us. Onward to Bertaria. Even this last shot, ugly. It's, it's just garbage it's like something's gonna happen you know yes, like a the fucking story, horror movie bro that that was that was one of the accounts at jonestown when they said just one day when it when that had the shooting and the murders happened and they they killed themselves he was like it's just like the storm clouds just moved in this this yeah. this storm I and mean, look at this shit it look like you said it looks like something bad's about to happen and you mm-hmm. got to figure from his his owen's own account this year about this time, everybody was already going to bed. So the sun's rising way off in the west there. This is, uh, you know, right at the beginning, right at the end of summer. So it's still saying light till about nine o'clock at night. And so right now, everybody's getting ready to go to bed in, in darkness, in the middle of, yep. a, of, a, of a field. Yep. There's no, there's no walk paths. There's no lighting. There's no little street light. There's nothing there. He calls it a campground when it's a field that they stop the, their, his real endeavor of uh, being a rancher, a, cow, a cattleman trying to sell whatever. You stop the cows from grazing so that you can uh, get a bunch of low IQ people to pitch a tent in the middle of a of a field with cow shit in it. <laughs> and ticks. <laughs> and, and that's, yeah. And, and I mean, and what? That's Bertaria <laughs> campgrounds? Yeah. yeah. Now All we're, right, you want to get, yeah, get gonna, the next one? We're going to, uh, dude, I'll let this play for a minute straight. Really? Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> hit, yeah, let's, I might say something. Yeah, set it well, up. I'm just going to set it up. Okay, so this was the first uh, la- the land scam propaganda video that I did, not knowing that's what it was. It was a, it was a um, you know, it was a land fund for the Ozarks. And, um, Owen wanted me to, to, Owen and Sam wanted me to make this video and they said they were just going to, I'm like, you want to come up and we'll shoot it nice? No, we'll, we'll, we'll shoot it with his cell phone. I'm like, okay, Sam. So they shoot me, they shoot him with a cell phone on his front porch, but I asked them to get me other shots too, like a wide shot of him sitting on his porch, you know, to begin and end. Of course, didn't get that, but I did get about 15 uh, or 15 to 20 videos of his cell phone. So like he was doing one line per one line per one line cuts, you know, Mm -hmm. and, and then he sent it to me and me and my delusional, you know, Bertaria mind, I put this thing together and I put all of these pieces in and just, they were blown away by it. Like the first, like a lot of stuff I did, the the first thing I sent to them, they're like, yes, (laughs) thank you. Yeah. And like, (laughs) You know, but like I'm just like, you know, is it you guys like it? They're like, uh, yeah. Because, <laughs> so, dude, even so they know, even they know it's more than what he deserves. Because they no, know. No, and look dude. how I flip narratives in here, dude. Like I use Digital Jonestown, like I use Digital Jonestown in this video and totally flipped it. I use Reddit in here, totally flipped the narrative in his favor because that's what I believe what the story was. Right. But now when I watch it, I'm like, I couldn't even recreate this right now if I tried, because it's not the truth and I know the truth and this is crazy. It's a weird, it's weird. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good intro. All right. I'm going to hit play again. This is Adam Camacho's creation. 
Hi, I'm Owen Benjamin, the world's most banned comedian. Owen Benjamin. Our next personality hasn't just been banned from YouTube, but also Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. After being kicked out of Hollywood for having traditional views and being against their social conditioning schemes, I began live streaming for hours a day. My podcast and independent career grew exponentially and started competing with mainstream and agenda-based entertainment. My commentary developed into heavy criticism of many aspects of entertainment and agenda. You know, dude, just, I, I, I got to give my two cents on everything so far. What, what amazes me more than anything is your ability to minimize the garbage and in and, and this very close like i don't I, did you say they shot his face with a cell phone yeah and that's what they sent you so they shot that and sent that to you and you you're masterful weaving you left the voice you left this but you told a story with media that it, it's just it, it it makes me so angry, dude. That that you somebody like you is able to put him in such a positive light, and I'm not saying none of it's true. At some point, he was here. He did do this. He was okay. I get it. But the way you tell the story with media, you can't put a price on that, dude. And just minimizing that shitty cell phone shot and only using it just every inching it in for a three second clip and back out into this beautiful story, this arc of like, you know, the music, everything is so tight, dude. It's so tight, man. Yeah, dude, believe me, when when I'm like, oh, fuck, I got to make a cell phone video good. Like, I hate that. But I, you know, I found a way, you know, and I added a look to it. Added more contrast, made it look a little bit better than what it looked like. Yeah, you you but actually yeah. kind of evened it out, bro. Like I can see there yeah. where there's like you know uh, because that's a, that's kind of a trick in audio too. You can't do it with everything, but yeah, I see it's it melds, dude. It it actually is like it all holds hands. It's not these stark cuts that don't make sense. The colors off. There's you know this is one full production already in just under a minute where it's like. I for I haven't watched this in a long time, and it's already pissing me off, dude. Because he he doesn't deserve this, man. He doesn't. He doesn't. This I evolved into believing that providing solutions and building alternatives would keep me clear from hypocrisy. Get a network. Get people together and start building. You know, people right now seem to be focusing eighty percent on what everyone's doing to them, and twenty percent on building or doing. Flip that. I did not want to be just another voice in entertainment, blaming other people for all of our problems. I still do comedy hours a day and am supported by some of the world's best animators. However, I also committed to providing solutions to some of the world's biggest problems and to help build the world that I want for my children. In 2020, in the midst of fear and lockdowns, I successfully crowdfunded money where I could get private property to have small get-togethers with some of my supporters. I'm gonna start looking into bear trail stuff, but the perfect one is for sale. So I was thinking, just throwing this out there, let me know what you guys think. Do you think we could raise the money for that? We made two documentaries showing the success of this project at buildingbertari.com. My critics and my competition have tried to Hold make the claim second. that I did this all for personal so did you notice that uh, like I put I put the property for Ursa Rio like he was like that right there is a lie. It's yes. like it wasn't for that property. Yes, but yeah. it just it just <laughs> dude it just goes right into it. like it's it's so smoothly. It's seamless. Like, it's done. seamless, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's seamless. I wasn't gonna say anything because again I'm just, I'm seething, bro. I, I I'm not gonna lie. I, I this yeah. pisses me off that it is this good, and it and, and it's such a. You know, and, and look at all the footage I have. Like, I had all this footage. I'm the only one that has all this footage. Like, any story he wants to tell, like I have terabytes of like of him, of all over. I have all of his used to YouTube stuff yeah. downloaded, and all the shots, all the document, and him and his house. Like, it was so stupid for him to fuck me over. Like, he did. you know, dude, there's been there's been. <laughs> <laughs> never mind i was gonna say i was gonna say something but i know what you're talking about with terabytes but i know um 
you know, it, uh, it's, it's, it's I'm, I'm seldom what, at a loss for words, what, dude. But what, what shot are you on? I'm on him sitting on the porch, and okay. he's, I'll give you a timestamp. It's rated, uh, it's one, 150. Um, oh, okay, cool. I'll, I'll get right there, too. Dude, the seamless integration, <clears throat> the seamless integration was, it just pisses me off so much. But, what's what's i think what's hurting my heart now and i'm dead serious like i always talk about the demons gnawing on my soul but the, the cinematic uh just ambiance of this of this little production here dude it's like it speaks measures to a frequency of like giving and just feeling uh a part of something and you know it's it's so believable it and it angers me to a point. And I think there's a lot of people that can understand what I'm saying because a lot of people that listen to covert radio and a lot of people listening right now were ex bears or they were part of this cult. They were part of this, or they've seen this video. Maybe this video it was is what caused their buy-in. And yeah. I, it's evoking that same emotion of like, cause it's so believable, dude. But I, yeah. I really know you could not recreate this out of the reality of what this is and what it's become. Oh, no. No, I'm recreating, like, the real, the truth now. Right. So, you know, don't right. don't think I'm not still working on my documentary. Oh, no. know, like all it, it just, there's just so much to go over, you know. But, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. No gain and that I have no intention of finishing the project. Well, simultaneously... They troll local municipalities and media to try and get me to not be able to finish the project. The people making the complaint were Reddit trolls. Just to let you guys know that. And when you looked at the, you know, and the madness of the complaints, it, it's just crazy. And they got it all the way to like the commissioner and all this stuff. Right now, my picture is on the front page of this one local newspaper called The Daily Bee. And we went in to try and interview them. They wouldn't talk to us. Smart, by the way, because they look disgusting. No one cares. It doesn't matter. That? Doesn't matter what the truth is. It's how they looked. It's the appearance. It, that's why I always say the delusion of Bertaria, the dream, none of it is real. It's a delusion. We are talking to the guy right now, Adam Camacho, who created the illusion based off of an idea based off conversations of owen benjamin and, and maybe a couple other yeah people. and i'm the one i'm the one that went in there to interview them who got those shots and they weren't disgusting looking uh, he, like that's just his way of just uh, framing demeaning them. yeah De <laughs> framing you know? demeaning and you know thank god thank god that they didn't because their truth would be slain their or i mean their lies would be slain it's all a delusion it's not real and there's there's actually a bunch of lies right there. And I'm I'm not going to pick this apart, but there's oh, yeah, no, there's a ton is. of like lies the whole, there. The whole narrative of how it went down. Yeah, it wasn't that that wasn't how things went down. And I mean, but now I now I know the all the information. Well, dude, it's it's as simple as it. Oh man, that got loud. I accidentally bumped. <laughs> I adjusted my headphones and I bumped the amp on my headphones and it was like blah 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 blah. Um, maybe maybe I wouldn't yell so much if I turned that on, but um. I, I didn't hear it. I know you can't. I, I'm the only one that can hear it. Uh, but but um, the uh, the lies. Wait, let me take it back because I, I wanted to make this point. I'll take it back ten seconds. Wait, because they look disgusting. Oh 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 yeah. The um the reality is though, right around this time span is when he pulled the permits. So he frames it as an it was attacked. Everybody was attacked. Our no, righteous land was attacked. I, no, I think I honestly I think he pulled the permits later. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm saying generally around this time. It was later oh, okay. down the road. It was like within a year. Or Dude, was, that whole thing was weird. That whole thing was weird because, like, because of what happened with the you know with Digital Jonestown, and you know them putting out that post and then Owen reacting to it. Um, then that's when he filed for the permits because uh, Todd Turbo Todd, you know the guy who is the the realty guy, he told him I have it on film. He says you don't need permits for this, so he didn't file for the permits. He filed after when he get when they scared him into filing for the permits, and then when they wouldn't when they couldn't figure it out at the at the hearing, 
is when he pulled the permits because he's like they don't even know what they're talking about they tell me i need them and then i put them in and then they can't even decide if like a chicken coop should need a permit now so he pulled them after that yeah they, that's what i understand now at, uh, at that, this point basically i mean there's a little more to it but they they've actually re-clarified so this couldn't happen again basically they they had they had a special session i think they created a new law even to deal with entities like because this is a problem in that area dude this is a known issue with people right. that oh, militia and this and that and we're going to do this we're going to have shooting ranges and vertac and all this and blah 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 and we're going to take over the sheriff department i got i found all kinds of clips owen you're taking over the police you're doing this you're doing that and then you act like you're a victim and uh, these people are crazy. You're the one out there telling you're going to take over the government, dude. In that area, you're overthrowing this. We're doing this. We're going to have shooting ranges. While the whole time, these people don't want government oversight in that area. They don't want feds in that area. And assholes like you will bring the feds in. And there's... Pro Listen, I'm going to tell you something, and I'm, I swear to God, I believe this is true. If hypothetically, Bertaria Ursa uh, Rio w did develop and it, there was several, uh, you know, uh, demarcated camping areas and whatever and this and that and da, da, da. You don't think there's a Fed or two that gave him $400? Yeah. There are Feds implanted already into this. They may yeah, have... I mean, I, I mean, even Sam is like when I would t say the word "fed" on the phone, he'd be like, "Don't say that. I don't like that word." Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's funny. Just a that's weird funny, thing he Sam. would say, and I, it, I just took me aback. I'm like, "What does it matter? Like, it's everybody says that word. I didn't say that, but I'm like, uh, okay." <laughs> yeah, I'll leave. It's just I'll a leave weird it at thing, that. You know? I'll leave it at that, dude. I'll leave it at that because it, that that's that is a very. Um, well, I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm going to hit play, dude. I'm going to hit play. No one cares. You read the Daily Bee around here, everybody here is based. They read it, they go, this is like a joke. It's like the onion. I have a lawyer involved, and the pressured municipalities have failed to provide any evidence that I have committed any violation. What is the structure? Is it, is it, you know, and is it, yeah, dwelling? Is, you know, do we count, do we count the chicken coop is going into that square footage? No. I mean, the reality is he did nothing but lie at this hearing. He, he committed perjury at this hearing. I don't know if he was sworn in, but normally sometimes, I guess, I don't, I'm one of these hearings, I'm sure there might have been some sort of an oath he had to say or whatever. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But the reality is, I don't know who's asking about chicken coops. It could have been at one of the co uh, board um, members or something. No, or it's some here. It's here. Oh, it it is. Yeah, I haven't watched this yeah. in a long time, dude. But the thing is, the the question is: Do families get destroyed if a chicken coop falls and kills a chicken? No. But will a family get destroyed if a if a uh, cordwood death trap implodes or falls apart after the first rainstorm and kills a family? Yeah. Now we have a problem, right? You don't think you need a permit for that, or should have one at least? I mean, come on. Yeah, and like the fact that they, like, they're, he had me put this in there. Like, and, you know, well, I put it in. He he liked it. But uh, the digital Jonestown recording, which I think, I don't think it was, a like, a, a lawful thing. Like, they, that that got leaked out. Oh, so this, so this audio right here was. <laughs> I think it was leaked. So, like, that's, like, a thing he didn't, like, he didn't know people were going to hear him lie to the oh. zoning commission. So this got like leaked out, you know, and then he's like, then his lawyers complaining, uh, you know, to, to the court that our anti slap was recorded and put on YouTube. But like, I, of course I had nothing to do with that, but I'm just saying like, it's just the hypocrisy where like, he was okay with me using this for his video. Yeah. Right. As long as daddy but, shines, I know, dude, <laughs> uh, as long as it makes him look good, like, absolutely. And, and, and look, look how creepy Sam looks in the corner. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh yeah, dude. I see him. I see him over you there. You see Sam staring at him like, like yeah. Oh yeah, but oh yeah, but uh, you know, he's not he's definitely not his handler. Some people will still say, Oh, I'm not convinced, you know, that he's still 
Sam is who that look at that look at that look oh you're not convinced you're not convinced no i i want you to tell me that after this next video you're probably yeah. going to be very surprised how much sam is involved i, I really believe the people who would dare say that then yeah, convinced you okay watch the next video the very next one that's going up today on covert radio and we'll see we'll see what you have to say then yeah, that's creepy, dude. He's over there. Eh, I hope he doesn't say the wrong thing. Make sure he says that part. And he probably wrote what Owen's reading. Yeah, he's got a paper. Look at him, just like the, just like this cell phone video. Yeah, he probably wrote what Adam, what uh, what Owen's reading right now. I share this with you because crowdfunding works, and I lead the defense in northern Idaho to protect your private property rights. What? How about that shot? Wow. That (laughs) that drone shot. I shot that, but I put it in there because it reminds me of, uh, you remember when uh, Eric Estrada was like selling uh, California pines? No, dude. That's weird you said that, because I just watched (laughs) a a Comic-Con with Chips. Uh, Larry, yeah. Larry Wilcox and uh, and and I met Eric Estrada years ago, dude. But that's a different story. But yeah, I, you you want to talk about an egomaniac, man? But I didn't no, I didn't yeah. know he was. Uh, I'll have to look that up. But that's a dope. But that's, that's a dope shot, dude. Yeah, I flew that up in the in the in the forest. But like you know, it's just like a it kind of it kind of felt that way. Like as a pro- promotional, it's like I I uh, support your rights. I'm leading the charge yeah. for rights in Idaho. And I I just like it just. I reminded me of Eric Estrada. I put that in there, like California. If you want to come, you know, please buy California pine. Right. Like he was, he was like it was some land scam he was doing. <laughs> yeah, dude. They they uh, it's it's not too hard to get a uh, spokesman once their career's over. You know what I mean? And they've they've gotten used yeah. to the fancies and the lollies. Like, dude, we should look back at Eric Estrada and look at that and see if there's any correlation to. Dude, I am. I and I already made a note of it. I'm I'm definitely looking <laughs> that up after we're done. I want to see this. I because I I kind of remember because I I was a big Chips fan, dude. I was a big Eric Estrada fan too. But I'm gonna look at when it. I was when I was a kid. It was always on TV. Always Chips. Yeah, I definitely. Uh, that was one of my no, shows, the, dude. No, oh, the promos, oh, the commercial Eric Estrada. Yeah, that was a demographic thing. I'm if I seen it, it was on the internet. They wouldn't have rolled that here. You know what I mean? Because it was only. That's only so many zip codes they had to pay to run that ad in, but it was, um, or maybe even out towards the, the, the mid, the, uh, you know, the mid U S maybe if people were moving out that way, but I know there's uh states do promotions all the time to try to get people to move there. Now they just open floodgates and bus, uh, you know, people who are coming up from the South, it doesn't matter who they are, but they, anytime it, it, they need a um, to fill a few gaps in, in counties or states, they just bust them in now. It, they used to really spend a lot of money in promoting certain states. Like, say, uh, New York would promote, uh, they'd spend a lot of money in Montana or vice versa. Montana would spend a lot of money to promote, come to Montana, visit Montana, check out Montana. And they do that in, in so many states that, uh, that you know, they, they want to bring some demographics in. But I may have seen it there, but I think I'm more so, I'd, I'd have probably seen that commercial on, on YouTube. I don't think they'd have promoted that here. But that is a dope shot, dude. That's a great shot. Rather than slow down or wait for a damaged system to keep up, I've decided to keep going ahead. Bertaria Ozark Campground was created out of the lessons and proof of concept from our previous experiences. We can host events and workshops to promote and build skills for a thriving society. This is the opportunity to create the dream we want, a beautiful family-oriented campground. We already have dozens of guys willing to donate their time, their skills, and their resources. So donate today and be one of the legends that helps make this possible. Onward to Bertaria. So, oh, that's dope too, dude. Did you do the effect or hire that out? No, I hired it out. Yeah, that's dope. Um, I'm not too good at graphics still. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a nice particle effect. 
But, dude, you know, I could see, I haven't watched that in a long time, but even based on that, like, <laughs> he didn't change much of the script. Dude, it worked with Adam. Just give me a variation of that script. Like, he didn't, it was the same thing. I mean, it, it was, a lot of it was the same. A lot of the beats, they tried to line up, it seemed like. You know, at, at this point, play the kids. At this point, do this. At this point, you know what I mean? Like, they yeah. seem like they were trying to line beats up and, and try to match yours. But cinematically, dude, they they can't hold a, they, they can't hold a, a match to, to this creation here. This gives it such weight. It gives it such believability. You know what I mean? Yeah. Com compared to and what I that bullshit is now. And I think he only paid me like a thousand bucks. And like this video, you know, that's when he started crowdfunding and that money rolled in. I don't know how much they got, but I've heard 700 grand. And it's like, you get, you pay me one. It's like, <laughs> dude, I can't wait till the audit. I cannot wait till the audit. See, because this is some, well, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Because I, I, I mentioned something uh, uh, several months ago about their compliance issues uh, with uh, the, the LLC and the founders. And, they, and they, they heard that and they, and and they started they, working on it. And they immediately started working on it. So certain yeah. things I'm going to start really keeping under the table because um, I'm not going to give you time to prepare for what's coming next. I'm not. Uh, and, but the beautiful part of this is, and I'm not saying I, I control you, but by you scrambling and refiling and doing all your updated paperwork, you've made a grave mistake. And I'm going to show everybody what that is. There's going to be no secrets, sir. I'm talking to what? you, Owen. There's going to be no well, secrets. You're not going to. He's also in a lawsuit. He's in a lawsuit with me. Like how is. Why would he like make those moves? It doesn't make sense. Oh, that makes perfect sense, dude, because he's an idiot and they think they're going to insulate him and try to move shit around at the last minute. And not only that, Adam, like your lawsuit is not secret. So it's like he does all this shit and he acts like he's going to stay. All I have to do is continue the, my proof of intimidation. All I have to do, or it's called proof by intimidation. Just create these arguments loaded with bullshit, loaded with tons of fucking lies, and it's all to obscure the reality of what's actually happening. And again, he just pushes the bear tards to accept it. He doesn't even have to push anymore. They just accept it because they're ignorant. And if they want to go out and say, eh, well, uh, you know, because like uh, Owen banked on that in that last video with like, oh, they play these clips. Just give me the name. I'll put it on. Will you? Then play my video, Owen, because I played your whole bullshit in its entirety. So there you go. Play the whole thing. Uh, but yeah. he knows, and, dude. It's and also too, yeah, like the, after you did that, put that video out, he, that night where you put the video out, that same night, he said it again on his live stream. So it's perfect that you came out with that. He, he said what? He said it again. The same thing about the clips, guys. Oh, Fill the context. So Fill it, the context. Oh, there it is. It, dude, that is actually a rhetoric weapon. It's called proof by intimidation. There's actually a name for that. Like, that's called proof by intimidation. He's he's basically pushing that. He's, say, he's challenging me or whoever because he knows that if I can't come up with the answer or tell him where it is or who has it or where it's at on his own network, I mean, I have a copy of it, but if it's still out on the internet, he knows that I, somebody in my position would just ignore his challenge because I can't be seen to, sh to lose face. You see what I mean? This is a very wicked, very calculated weapon of rhetoric. It's called proof by intimidation. He's intimidating me or anybody to prove that they have the resource. And, and he knows somebody in my position, if I don't have it, I will ignore his challenge. I have to because he's basically calling me out without calling me out. You will never fucking call me out, Owen. I promise you that. And I hope, I, 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 I just, I got to stop. I got to stop <laughs> because it's, I don't want to, I, I, dude, I, 
Listen, man, I don't know. Something broke in my head, Adam. I'm dead. I swear to God, something changed in my head in the last several days. Once I saw that first video, the beg video that we watched, the first one, something literally snapped in my head. And I have such a burning, like almost a panic inside of me that I have to really start alerting people. And I'm going to show you guys something in this new video coming up, uh, th this next one. I, I mentioned in the last video, and I've said this a hundred times, I have how dangerous Owen is. I'm not going to speak words anymore without showing you. You are never going to use proof of intimidation with me again, Owen. And you're never going to try it because I have so much data that I would make you puke if you saw what I had. And this actually goes for anybody who wants to challenge the information we have. I'm not talking about Adam. I'm saying the covert radio tribunal, the people on this side of the wall. You're never going to challenge me again. And I'm not going to stop because I genuinely, in my heart, believe there are children in danger now. I genuinely in my heart, believe that. And just by playing your own words from the, the, the casualty of abuse, just in the last video, you, you claimed of your dad was the way he is. He's, he's, uh, uh, how did you say it? He, he's a unsatisfiable sodomite Jew. Fuck is your words. Those are your words. He's insatiable. His lust you know what? That's with money because you also said he'd sit there and he'd refresh over and over and over again, his money, his money, his money. How do you not understand this is who you've become? And you've said your dad was abused and that's why he abused. Now what? You think it's okay to do what? You don't think this cycle, you're not breaking any cycle. You're going right along with the wake of, of whatever demonic force is, is leading, whatever curse is in your bloodline, you're not going to affect, you're not going to hurt other people and you're not going to hurt children. And I will not stop until I make sure of it. Do you understand what I just said? Thank you. I, Adam, no, I, 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 true. bro, I apologize, man, because I'm sweating. I can't, but I'm telling you something happened, dude. Something happened. I don't know. There's a fire in me with him now that I can't, I almost can't sleep. Because well, we don't I, want that. <laughs> <laughs> because I fear, dude, something bad is going to happen. This isn't, this isn't a tennis match. And I've said that for a long time, but there's more to this now than I, I, I don't, I don't know, uh, I just don't know. I don't know what's next. But the the stuff with the kids, man, I'm not kidding anymore. And this and Foster Bear, what she did to that innocent baby, her life's everybody's lives are gonna change. You oh, will you see, answer. Did you see like you you uh mentioned her in the last our last interview that her life's gonna change and everything? And you see she she put up a post saying that now she's giving the baby back to the family. Mm -hmm. You know what? Uh, I, I <laughs> I can't, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to say anything. I know. I know. I did see that, dude. I did see that. You're not going to, you're not going to do that, Rachel, Rochelle, right? Rochelle, right? <laughs> you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. No, 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 no. You're not going to do that. And I want to talk to that kid when he's older. <laughs> um. Yeah. Because you know what, dude, that's, there's, that is the purest form See, that's what I was saying in this last video about there's a, a method of putting it out in your face, you know, to the point of like either it's desensitizing you and they hope that you just go along with it. Like Bowler Bear, the first area Bertaria stream that they did, the live stream within, and I counted, I showed the stop clock within three minutes. He talked, and I'm going to play that clip in this next upcoming video just to refresh everybody's brains. Uh, he he talked about you know the how how twisted all of the people are in this cult because they were going to employ kids to start reading emails and Owen's like oh no you know I don't know and uh, Bowler Bear's like Daddy what's sodomy 
the next beat, the next words out of Owen's mouth was, so, yeah, you bring your whole family bullers like, yeah, I brought my daughters. Like, what the fuck is going on? And why aren't more people literally, like, just blowing air raid sign, or sirens over this? Don't you, you guys don't want to believe what's happening. You believe in the media. Adam Camacho has done his job too well because a big part of what you believe is his creation. I'm telling you, you can't believe how bad it actually is based on the good work that's been put out there. If Owen was left to his own devices from day one and never having the capacity to mention Hollywood or his, you know, his uh, Zionist tribal identification, if he was never able to do that, he would be in an institution right now or in jail. It's only because of the media that's been put out there that you people don't believe how bad this actually is. And again, I don't blame Adam. I don't. I, I genuinely believe that, it, and I know this. I'm not saying I believe it. I know it. At one point for years, he thought like many, 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 many other people, and they had no reason to. They had no reason not to believe that they were doing what's positive, what's good, what's good for everybody else. We're doing great things here. But that's not the yeah. case. That's not the case, and it hasn't been for a couple years. Yeah, it's all that it's he he had me in that us against them mentality, you know, and that's how he gets you. That's how he had me all ramped up for when COVID hit. I just kind of I kind of lost it, man. You know, I kind of like went off on people and I'm like, all right, it's happening. You know, I moved out here to the middle of nowhere and left my career and put all my eggs in one basket because I thought I had this amazing community to support me, you know, and then when he destroyed that, I was like, all right, well, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people know, and we don't have to get into this, dude, but I don't think yeah. I don't think a lot of people know that you actually, you also have a homestead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not right now. I mean, I, I just have goats and uh, chickens and... Yeah, but you're self-sustenant. Uh, you have a piece of land. You have solar. You know what I mean? Like, you have... Yeah, got you a know. well, yeah. Yeah, you got to remember, yeah. Adam, we're talking to people who might have a, a, you know, a 20 by 40 apartment and, like, you know, a shared bathroom. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, when I say homestead, I'm not giving a number of cattle or, or whatever. But, right. you, you know, in the grand, for, in the general uh, definition, you definitely live on a homestead, dude. Like, even by yeah. my book, I would consider that a homestead, like a nice little yeah. piece of land and, you know, solar and you have fences. I, I think a fence and animals... <laughs> I think that would mean, you know, for a lot of people, that's, that's at minimum a little farm, you know what I mean? Like, so. Yeah, I got a, I got a guy who's going to come help me uh, process one of my goats. He's going to show me how to do it. Cause I, you know, I, I've, I've really, I've always wanted to know because that's what this is all about. It's all about coming out here and, and learning how to be self-sufficient. So if stuff really does go down where we thought COVID was it, but it wasn't, um, you know, you at least be able to be prepared instead of being hungry. I can, have some some tacos, you know. Yeah, coat tacos, bro. That would be dope. I know yeah, that. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, I'll say this one last thing, Adam. And I again, I just want the folks to understand, which I, I know a lot do. But I, th there's always new listeners. There's new covert radio has got new subs almost every day. So I mean, there's new people listening, and they want to know what this is. They know, you know, they can probably start to. A lot of normal people can understand. Like I'll give you an example. I was playing some of my vault material. And uh, my wife walked in and she, she was standing doing something uh, for like a couple minutes with some of my my actual work papers and stuff. And, and she she turned around and she looked at me and her jaw was open. She could not believe what she was hearing. Mm -hmm. And I just opened my eyes and I was like, well, there you go. Now, you know, like, you know, because a lot of people, they don't. <laughs> They don't know, Adam. They don't know the depth of this and how dark he is and how dark it is. And Because these, he's so good at, at rebranding yes. himself and re evolving and changing yes. and shifting into something dude. else. And charming yeah, and, people. And he's, and he's constantly rewriting the narrative five days a week, now on the weekends too, for three hours at a time. Like we're, we were going up against an, uh, an actual demon. And he's like, and he will not stop 
that's I think that that's why you you kind of felt that with this last video. It's like the balls of this guy to put out a video right now asking for money. It's unbelievable. Again. It's un it's it's unbelievable, dude. And it's like, yeah, you guys can focus on Ursa Rio all you want, but this is still going on right now. Yes. He is still getting people to send him four hundred dollars right now. And you know, dude, that's that's one thing I was gonna say dealing with you and your involvement with this. Uh, you know, Adam was not just a bear. Like Air, Adam was highly involved with this, and you know, so that's why I I always like to talk to him. I always like to get his perspective on things. Um, but the other thing I I think a lot of people don't understand either, dude, is like let alone the fallout and how quickly the knives go into your back from say Owen and and a few other people I won't mention but other than that the ripple effect of all the people who just arbitrarily turned their back on you and these are people you've b broken bread with people you've been around for years like in this yeah. it's environment in this in, you know the the homesteading area and the conversations and the bear meetups and and all these people you thought were friends just all of them, all they needed was the, or, uh, you know, the proof of authority, the authoritarian command of Owen, and they're all just like, 180, turn your back, kill him. You know what I mean? Literally, dude, if yeah. this was 100 years ago, they would they would have probably uh, took you out back. And I'm not going to talk crazy on YouTube, but that's I'm dead serious, dude. That's how this level of indoctrinative cult works. No, and no, and his and his rhetoric is dangerous. It's volatile. So that moment when it happened, it's like, oh, shit, this is a cult and they know where I live. Like they've been to my house. It's not hard to get here. And I just had uh, a bear on YouTube. I was just making a funny comment because he was on. Uh, I think it was that young Joe Rogan guy. Mm -hmm. And he's on there all shaved, looks like a totally different person. And uh, I just made the comment. I said, oh, Boomer, you know, Boomer Bear, Boomer Owens or Owen's boomer internet is getting worse. And this guy comments underneath and he goes, um, he goes, what was the name of the, of the, of the, of your neighbor's dog that you shot? Cause that was one of the lies that Owen told about me like out of nowhere. And I said, dude, I said, and I saw who it was. And I saw, I know that this guy is a convicted cop killer. Mm. And I was like, and I was like, I go, I said, dude, you shot a person. Like, even if it is true, what Owen said, like, yeah, but this right. guy, and then he comments, he goes, I, I, I'm, I, th I should go out there and, uh, and talk to your neighbor. And then I can send all the info to Owen for his case to help him. And I'm like, I got these actual murderers who are still coming at me because Owen will not reverse this narrative against me. You know, dude, that I, I, I feel like, uh, Colin Coddington to get me Adam Camacho to chime in on the next video too, because I'm, I'm going to show people how dangerous he is. And this is, this is another dynamic of that, that, so I could add that in, or I could just reference this or play this portion Yeah, because sure. dude, I, um, I, you can I, get death me. Threats. I get death threats. I can't imagine the level of, of, uh, I've seen it, dude. I, it's not that I don't need to imagine it. I've seen it. I've seen the death threats against you. I've seen the, the people on public forums talking about, I would die for Owen. I would die for Owen and his family. So if you're yeah. willing to die for him, why wouldn't you be willing to kill for him? Yeah. And I have a family. I have three little girls. You know, you don't think that goes through my mind. It's a cult, man. It's a cult. And like I said, they've... Uh, when I leave my house to go somewhere, like, you know, they could show up at any moment. Like, that isn't... You don't think that, that affects me? You know, dude, I pray to God, Lord, please protect that, protect Adam, protect his family, surround his property, his house, his family with angels at all times, guarding angels, warring angels to protect them until our work's done. In your name we trust and pray. Amen. Amen. Dude, I uh, I don't well, stop. This this took a turn. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't. That's what I mean. See, this is what happened, bro. I I, it's almost like somebody removed a couple filters in my brain, where it's yeah. like, okay, no, we'll wait for that. No, I'm gonna wait till I have more information. I'm just like here, 
I, I no, can't. you know what it is too is that we were being nice because I was being nice to my lawyer, and I was saying I was asking you, could you please take down that video for the cease and desist? Yes, because they were pretending they were going to settle. Yeah. So like the fact that we did that, you know, we're we're we were playing nice because we thought, and then sure enough, they're full of shit, yeah. and they go even harder. And now he's like got the balls to do this again. So like, I think what happened was you're like, no, fuck this, I'm not going to be bullied. You know, he strikes Liz, Liz's channel, and his lawyer st- strikes it for him, and then he lost. Yeah, you know, yeah. and it's like, no, you can't push people around. They have nothing to do with me or my case. I can't control other yeah. people. You can't control action. me at all, dude. You asked me to do something out of good yeah. faith. I did it. Period. And but yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna underline what you just said, Adam. See, everything happens for a reason, and I genuinely believe that. By them striking Liz, pushing her around, and trying to bully her, that also caused me to start looking around, and I also have a whole presentation about Owen's attorney coming up. And again, it's all public information. You don't want it out in the public, then take it out of the public eye. I'm going to show you the network that he's involved in. And the fact that Owen Benjamin would go to somebody of that caliber, in my opinion, based on the character of Owen Benjamin, who wears the unbuttoned shirt on the farm, who just wants to be a farmer and have his a couple acres to have. See, the other thing, too, is. Nobody realizes how much land 40 acres is, let alone the 73 acres they already bought him. You don't yeah. realize how much land 40 acres is. That's the other problem. I want anybody, if you like, oh, yeah, acre, what's an acre? Like, you don't even understand how much land just 40 acres is, let alone the amount of land he already owns that you bought him. Like, so, but the fact that he plays his character and he's a Christian and he's this and he's that and that and this, and, but yet this is immediately who he runs to after all his vitriol, his anti-Semitism, his being on the ADL watch list and media matters and the Southern Poverty Law Center, you go to somebody who probably more than likely has dual citizenship in Israel because their family's still in Israel. So it's like, at what point, at what point do you, you talk shit on Alex Jones, even though Russian correspondence bear is the pivotal marker for you to sell your shit and your bullshit grifting on the InfoWars network and all their people. Uh, She's the main component in that. While at the same time, your attorney is also tied into InfoWars. Isn't that odd? Do you know the probability of that? Do you know the numbers involved in the, this small little, and I'm going to tell you something, guys, I'm going to have to sell my fishing boat if Trump loses, this small little network, but yet your attorney's tied to him, Russian correspondence bears tied to him, but you talk shit on him. For what? To keep the, the lines blurred, Owen? Is that why? You can't hide what's public information, sir. And I'm going to let the people decide what's real. Adam, I'm going to, I'm going to probably, uh, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to cut our, I'm going to cut this down, bro, because. Yeah, you go, you go do your other show, man. I yeah, got to, I got to. Dude. I, you I, called me, all right? <laughs> I know, I know, dude. <laughs> Sorry I went off, man. I, I'm, and I'm, I'm actually a controlled going off, but honest to God, my blood pressure, I'm like, Dude, I can't, I'm, there's no more. I'm not, there's no more. I'm, you can't, listen, I, I can't stop and I'm not going to stop. I mean, again, you guys, there's an open active lawsuit against Owen Benjamin with Adam Camacho. His give, send, go is in the description. Please, if you can give any money on the give, send, go, help him out with the legal fees. Because again, and I'll say this, I'll say this to the day I die or until it's over, Owen's doing exactly what he said he was going to do and, you know, just try to rob somebody uh, with all any money they, they would have available through a- endless war uh, lawfare. And that he said he would do that. And I have his attorney 
on another podcast talking about that's also a, you got to put stones in people's shoe. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, you got to put you got to put a stone in somebody's shoe. Is all oh, is that what you got to do, sir? Is that ethical? Is it ethical? I'm not saying is it legal. Lawfare is legal, but I'm saying is it ethical? Is it good, fair, and true? The fuck out of here. But if yeah, you want to help it, with the, with Adam's lawsuit, that link's in yeah. the description. Yeah, and also too, since you mentioned the the uh, the give send go, we uh, thank you to everybody that donated. Don't you don't got to donate right now because you just did. Um, you came through. Blake came through. We got the thousand dollars, and Blake doubled it. So I will be uh, handing that check to my lawyer tomorrow. Thank you very much and. Uh, it looks like we have another another person who wants to step up and match donations as well, and that's going to be a whole other thing. But I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take what I'll do is I'll do like a month of me paying the the lawyer, and then a month of like doing the doubling donations or something like that, so that we can like you know kind of incrementally pay him better. But uh, and also so you don't break the bank for people. I know uh, Christmas is coming and everything and. But yeah, thank you everybody who 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 came out and donated in those ten days. Like I was just, I couldn't believe it. Like in ten days, I raised two thousand dollars, and like who the who am I? You know, yeah. I'm not, okay. I'm not this, inf- I'm not an influencer. You know, I'm not like a, a guy who goes online and, you know, and gives perspectives. I'm not, you know, I'm not Owen Benjamin. I'm not these people who ask people for money. But I'm, I, I got caught up into this, and I'm, I'm, I'm in this, and I really appreciate you helping me move forward and just continue this and uh, hopefully just to stop, stop them, you know? Yeah. I think a lot of people are, uh, they're really understanding what's actually happening. And I think by now they know there's, I mean, there's nothing to hide. There is much, as much as they try to muddy the waters or people have come out and said, Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. And the trolls in the comment sections and bears and shit. I mean, it's all public. You can see what's happening. You can see the lawfare. There, uh, this isn't a grift, a scam. I mean, this, every it's it it is what it is. And I think people have now come to the realization: oh wow, this really is. <laughs> you know, it really is happening. So I mean, you know, just keep keep me updated, dude, with that. If you want to um, do a show and 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 we'll mention who it is, like we did with Blake, that'd be great, man. I would. Uh, I would do that. I, yeah. don't, I don't know who it is now, but if it's, uh, you know, maybe somebody, they have a podcast or something they do, maybe a service, we could mention that too, to maybe try to oh, help no, them it's, a little it's, bit. It's, 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 it's another, uh, another gamma, you know, that okay. everybody knows them. And, but he saw what Blake did and he's like, that's a good idea. I want next. Okay. And I'm like, perfect. Like, so hopefully we can keep doing this like every other month and, and it'll really help, you know, because like I said, I'll try to, I'll try to pay it as much as I can, but, you know, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, like it, you said, it's, it's a it's, lot of It's money. astronomical, man. It really is yeah. astronomical. And, and you, we've only started. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, true, dude. It's true. I mean, I, there's been times where it's like, I, I just don't understand, but the more I'm learning about this attorney, I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I'm starting to understand now. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's just, yeah. it's evil. It's evil, evil, evil. It's not there's nothing fair about it. There's nothing. And even the basis alone, and this is my opinion, all they had to do is pay you what's fair. I mean, uh, what? Yeah. who doesn't understand that, right? You know what I mean, dude? Like, that's all yeah, they had to do. It's all a game. They're, they're playing with people's lives, you know, and that's just. With other you know, people's my... money. You know, I've said this yeah. before. All Owen has to do is sell an acre here, sell an acre. He doesn't care. He's. You think he's paying for this lawsuit? He's not, he, he even said in one of these streams I have that, uh, guys, I have an attorney that'll work for butter. I have an attorney. Is it kosher? I have an attorney. Is it kosher, uh, Owen? I have an attorney that will work for butter. I mean, I don't know if it's this attorney. I don't know if it's some other attorney, but he has made this statement. He has an attorney that will work for butter. What, what is butter? I mean, do you actually mean butter or are we talking something else? Like, it, but the the bottom line is it doesn't matter because it's not like Owen has a savings where he's, oh, I got to write another check. He's sitting on millions of dollars of equity based on his grift, in my opinion. 
And so why wouldn't he push us to, to the to the sky? He doesn't have to settle anything. He's asking you to give him another 40 fucking acres. Like, wake up. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable, Adam. But I, I just I can't take but, but 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 here we are. Here we are, bro. And I can't I can't take much more of 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 him, dude, and the grift. Like it's just I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I really feel good that people are really starting to understand what's happening. Take our videos, interviews, my videos, any, and just make clips of them. Make shorts. Post them to your stuff. Let people know. But especially this next video coming up. But, Adam, thanks for uh, coming on and, and making the comparison of these two. And, you know, you got your uh, your morbid, dead, no life, begathon video that he just put out. And, you know, you had your masterpiece of like, that really, you know, set the stage, man. And, um, you know, you ca they can't create. All they can do is copy and steal. That's it. That's it. But even at yep. that, they can't even do that, right? That's my opinion, too. So, but keep me posted yeah, well, on, uh, on thanks stuff. For thanks for having me. Thanks oh, for having me again. No I problem, dude. It. Thanks for spending some time. Sorry, sorry I went off the rails there. But again, you don't control me. I don't control you. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, other yeah, other me, people will say, anytime. yeah, other people will, will they'll they'll frame that way different, dude. Like we have an apartment together somewhere or something, but I I don't know, like, you know what I mean? It's like like uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like Owen and Swartzen, yeah, or uh, like Owen and his neighbor <laughs> Sam, who lives right down the road. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just I, I just got what you said. Yeah, dude. The, the yeah. Like, wouldn't it be nice <laughs> if we? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and that'll come out too, dude. And not there's no secrets. What what year is it? The year of the reveal, right? Come on, man. <laughs> You're not this. Well, I'm not getting into it. I'll save it for the next one. But thanks for coming on, Adam. And thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, no problem. Everybody, check the links in the description. Um, take care, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. And you guys, take care. Have a good day.